Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is in Wirecast and in Zoom. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Wirecast as your virtual camera in Zoom. So you can do all the things that you normally do in Wirecast in a Zoom video conference. Here I am in Wirecast. I'm using version 13.0.1. So the first thing you need to do in Wirecast is add a video capture layer. What camera do you want to use in Zoom? I'm just going to come to this third layer. I'm going to click on the plus symbol. In the left sidebar, I'm going to select Video Capture. And here you're going to choose the camera that you want to use in Zoom. I'm going to select my Logitech Brio webcam. And then I'm going to click on Add. Hi there. So I am in the preview window of Wirecast. Zoom, however, is going to show whatever is in the live window of Wirecast. So to get over to the live window, you can click on this arrow right here, or just use the keyboard shortcut, which is the space bar. So now I am in the preview window and the live view of Wirecast. Remember, Zoom is going to show whatever is in the live window. So before we head over to Zoom, we must first start the virtual camera in Wirecast. To do that, you're going to go to the output menu at the very top, go to virtual camera out. First, you want to select the resolution. I'm going to keep it at 1280 by 720, that's 720p. I'm going to have this option checked, flip video horizontally, and then we're going to click on start. That is going to start the virtual camera in Wirecast, which is going to enable us to use it in Zoom or any other program that allows you to select the webcam. So now the virtual camera is running in Wirecast and it's time to head over to Zoom and select it. So go ahead and open up Zoom. Under your profile picture in the top right corner, you're going to see the little gear icon for the Zoom settings. Go ahead and click on that. In the left sidebar, you're going to select video. So there I am in the preview window of Zoom and is currently using my IMAX default camera. But we want to change that, so I'm going to click on this drop down menu and we're going to select Wirecast Virtual Camera. The reason it is there is because we already started the virtual camera in Wirecast. So as soon as I select that, now the preview window is whatever you have in the live window of Wirecast. So I'm going to close the settings. I'm going to click this right here to create a new Zoom meeting. So here I am in a Zoom meeting. You can also select the Wirecast virtual camera after you've joined a meeting. If you just hover your cursor over the video, you'll see the options all at the bottom here. We're looking for this one right here, this little up arrow next to where it says stop video. If I click on that, you'll see all of the options for your webcams. You see here that Wirecast virtual camera is selected. And if you ever need to go back to the settings, you can just click on video settings and that'll open up your settings again. This option is good if you haven't joined the meeting yet and you want to get it all ready, but you can always select it by just coming down here and selecting the camera. So here we are back in Wirecast. I'm just going to add a graphic. It's in the preview window now. Remember, we need to get it over to the live view in order for it to go to zoom. So I can just click on this arrow right here or just use the keyboard shortcut, the space bar, and now it is in the live view. Let's head back to zoom. And just like that, you see the graphic that we added in Wirecast is now in your Zoom video conference. My name is Mike Murphy, and that is how you add Wirecast as a virtual camera in Zoom. Cheers!